Welcome back to Cody's Crafting Corner and also happy Cinco de Mayo. If you find that you have the means to do so, I suggest supporting a local business today. Um, I suggest La Cazuela in Lawrenceville Square. It's right down the street from Aurora Theater. Uh, they have a full takeout menu through 8 p.m., including drinks. So there's still time for you to celebrate the holiday. Okay, on to our project. Today we're gonna be frosting some glasses and the materials are super easy to come by. We just need a can of beer and some Epsom salts and a bowl and a glass. So we're gonna start by taking one cup of beer and we're gonna put that in the bowl. And now we're gonna put one cup in the glass and we're gonna stir in four tablespoons of Epsom salts into the mixture in the bowl. Be sure not to get these confused. And now we're gonna to need to wait about 30 minutes for the salt to dissolve evenly into our beer mixture. The only downside is you only need four tablespoons of Epsom salt, and while they're not expensive, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with that whole bag of Epsom salts. Let's visit that one more time. Hmm. This craft was passed down to me from Sarah Thompson, uh, the resident scenic charge at the Aurora Theater. So chances are, if you've seen a show at Aurora, the reason why it was painted beautifully um, is because of that woman. She is a wonderful artist and uh, I really enjoy getting to work with her. So once it's set for 30 minutes, you're gonna take a rag and you're gonna dip it in the solution and then you're going to lightly dab it onto your glass surface all the way around. And you're gonna let that dry completely. And then once it's dried, you're gonna go about it and you're gonna do it again. And when you add layers, make sure that you're lightly dabbing because you don't wanna just strip away what you've already accumulated. Now it's gonna take several applications to get a nice, even, clear, crystalline coat for that frosting. So thankfully, I already worked in one last night. And to be able to show you the difference, I left one side clean and then had the other frosted. Now you can do this to any glass surface and the great thing is it's not gonna like shed or flake off, but it will wash off with water and Windex. So anytime that you're done with it, it comes right off with no harm to the glass at all. So also you could do this around the holiday times and frost your windows and give it that cool snowy effect even though we live in Georgia. Or honestly, you could just apply it to a window now if you have a surface that you wish was maybe a little less transparent. Speaking of transparency, my bathroom does not usually look like that. No one's bathroom usually looks like that. I had to set that so it looks all fun and cute. Simple things like cleaning your bathroom might seem really difficult right now. And the hard part is since there's no one around us, it seems like we're the only ones having a hard time. But full transparency, we're all having a hard time right now. And if it's any consolation, I just wanna let you know that if you find a day that you're struggling a little bit, just know that someone else is also struggling. You are not alone, even though it feels really lonely right now. So I just wanna give my unsolicited advice that, I don't know, maybe celebrate with a margarita today or a nice soak in an Epsom salt bath after you frost some glasses and celebrate yourself just a little bit. Bye guys, until next time.